excuse me y'all I am just a little ecstatic about something and what it is is I don't really wear lipstick because I don't know if y'all remember I did the Flory Roberts um little uh, review on their makeup and um, went and visited them and I had a little commotion and the, the owner just like kind of really hooked me up or whatever but I'm not dressed I just took my uh <laughs> I just took my own bonnet off to see how my hair look with this color I mixed um two colors and this is something I got from Victoria um off of YT in a um prize mail package this is a lipstick and I don't I can't see the name or the color but I do know this particular one here is, uh, oh Jesus, apricot, apricot, dang it, let me see, apricot breeze by Flory Roberts, and this kind of tainted, I done crushed it up, just to go show you, I don't use it much, and it done, this was from last year, it done got messed up and all tainted inside my bag, but ap apricot breeze, and it is a pretty, pretty, sort of like, let me see if I can get, I want y'all to get the true color. Apricot Breeze, and it's like a pretty peachy looking color, and it's made it. It doesn't really have any um, gloss to it or anything like that, so that's the Apricot Breeze. And y'all, I don't know what this color is. Oh, Rosetto Rouge, and this is like a metallic pink color. And this is tainted too. I'm not, I mean, it's all messed up. Because I don't really wear lipsticks, y'all. I just usually wear like, my favorites is, my go-to is my um, Coconut Jewel by Bath and Body Works. And when I tell you this looks so good on my lips. And then I have um, strawberry or just watermelon, water something, watermelon or something. That, that the name is not on the bottom of this one, which is kind of weird. So, anywho, um, so those are my go-tos. Every time I do my face or, you know, clean my face up or whatever, um, my eyebrows are nothing not done, but I just wanted to try this lipstick. So, let me tell you guys what I did. This is the funky part. I do like makeup, and you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just, I got so much going on, I don't never have time to do my videos of showing you, showing you guys how I do my face, but I will do more of those. But look... I've been using this for quite some time and if you remember my videos with um Floyd Roberts and I was talking about how the makeup if I get makeup it has to be a makeup that dries me up because I'm so oily and so I've been using Milk of Magnesia um I seen some YT sisters um this um Caucasian girl using this and was saying how good this was and she told me to try this and so I've been using this for you know a little bit now I think this um this right here is like, this is from Milk of Magnesia from the Dollar Tree. And I done had this for about, oh gosh, over a year now. And it's still a lot in. You just take it, dab it, and it will literally, I'm going to show y'all just a quick vid. See how shiny I am? Just look right in this area. Watch what this Milk of Magnesia do. Just a tad. I'm just going to dab, dab a tad right there and watch that dry up. I'm going to let it, let y'all see how it will literally dry up any oily areas in your face like seriously watch you're gonna see the difference between the two sides like oh i ain't putting it right there uh excuse me okay i just had just not much or nothing on my hand and do that and watch how that dries up so i'm gonna keep talking so long story short I do have full lips and I always get compliments on my lips and people are like girl such and such lipstick will look good on you whatever and I'm like girl please I can't get the lipstick to stick it's the craziest funky thing the lipstick because my lips stay wet continuously would only be on the edge of my lips and like all up in here it wouldn't stick but look at this y'all see that yes guess what this I said, well, huh. <laughs> you can ingest this, right? Okay, so since we can ingest this, and it's fine, and I'm putting it on my face, hmm. I was sitting in the bed, and I said, hmm, let me dab some of this on my lips and see if it will be a primer for my lipstick and dry out the wetness in my lips. And, hmm, girl, I put the apricot peach on. I didn't like it by itself because I realized how full my lips were after I put it on. I was like, oh, they look big. So, <laughs> I dabbed a little of the pink in there and I mixed it but this is what I got guys 
okay now look you gonna get a little bit of flakage but it's not no big deal but it didn't do down my lips I think I might have put too much under my eye but look it literally dries out the area it dries the area out and it's really dry right here and see it's still kind of shiny here but it dries out the area and it grabs your concealer your foundation or whatever it grabs it and holds it and it actually lasts longer and um I actually would use this too for my shadows even though I did order hold on let me see I don't want y'all to see my bumpy I ordered I ordered the NYX, um, the three, the um, trio, um, the beige, the white base, and the um, the pearl. I ordered them primers for my um, eyeshadows, and I haven't used them yet. So if y'all got any um, any comments about those and how well they work, let me know. But I do have them just in case because I do make up for other people. It's just with me. You know what I'm saying? With me, I have a problem with them areas. But I just want to share that with y'all. Milk of magnesia, not only just for your face, but for your lips. If you got wet lips like mine, mm-hmm. Now you can wear some lipstick. Mm-hmm. See y'all later. I know I'm looking.